Hey everyone, what's going on? Danny here. I'm really excited right now. I got the call. My new truck is finally here, finally ready for me to pick it up. Um, so I'm on my way to the dealership right now to go get my new truck. I currently have a 2019 Honda Ridgeline RTLE in black that I pretty much blacked out um, all the chrome pieces on it and I'm trading it in going to be getting a 2022 Honda Ridgeline black edition so this time around I went straight for the black edition I didn't want to go through the hassle of having to black out any of the chrome pieces on the RTLE um, so yeah that's what I'm doing right now I'm really excited uh, once I get the new truck I'll give you guys a tour on the exterior the interior um, and yeah I'm really excited for me the Honda Ridgeline is the perfect truck for what me and my family need I love the mid-size pickup trucks. Don't need a full size, you know, an F-150 or a uh, Ram. Definitely too large of a truck for what I need. You know, I do the occasional Home Depot run or when my wife goes to Home Goods and purchases something that's larger than, than what can fit in her pilot, uh, the Ridgeline is perfect. So uh, really excited to get the new truck. Uh, I like the subtle changes that, they, that Honda made on it. Uh, definitely waiting for Honda to release a Ridgeline that has more horsepower. There's always rumors of a Type R coming. Honestly, don't think they're gonna make a Type R, but would love if they, you know, made a Ridgeline with with more horsepower. But it is what it is. The 280 horses is gonna, you know, gonna have to do for now. Um, I ain't doing any modifications to increase horsepower on it. It's it isn't that serious, honestly, for me. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to get my new truck. I'll let you guys know how it is and give you guys a exterior and interior, you know review and um you know photos video what have you so you guys can check it out and let me know what you think um yeah drop any comments you want looking forward to hearing from all of you and yeah see you guys soon there she is 2022 hunter ridgeline black edition there she is 2022 hunter ridgeline black edition clean brand new one owner it's a little exterior video hey, what a beautiful thing that's the new front end front end in my opinion looks definitely way better than the previous front end Clean. dealer cleans it up real nice when they give it to you definitely a lot better than <laughs> the way i gave them my 2019 i'm pretty sure they're gonna clean that up so that whoever gets that 2019 next because you know they're gonna resell it i get a good car the rear now it comes with dual exhaust. Beautiful thing. Little templates. Car's clean. Car's definitely clean. Here's my 2019 that I'm trading in. It's a 2019 RTLE. And I had blacked out the chrome around the doors. I had painted the wheels. It's a side by side comparison. A little walk around with the 2019. It's a good truck. Love this truck. Painted the grill. See if do a little close up. You can see. I mean, right down there, right here, some spots over here where you paint it. It's the thing when you get it, you have paint chrome eventually, like you know, it chips. Now she's dirty, of course. We in New England, so 
New England winter, winters, definitely brutal on cars. Tend to wash it often, but it's trading her in, so. I had debadged this one, plan on doing that for the new one. I like my, I like the clean look, honestly, on my trucks. Painted the H emblem on this one. So I'm excited. Here's the new one again. So this one definitely gonna debadger. This time Honda, they make emblems in black already. So I definitely ordered those, have those at the house already waiting to get put on. Gonna black out the chrome exhaust tips. Keep it with that all black look. So I like my trucks. Let's view the inside. So it's the black edition, so it comes with the black with the red, black and red trim. I'm excited, just waiting for my salesman to get me the all weather mats. From the factory already comes with the wider door openings on the newer versions but 2019 i had to install new door checkers to get it to open up wider this one don't have to do it, it already comes like that thank you honda for listening to the consumers this is clean though rims clean I'm excited already got the tono cover at home ready to put that on the sprint booster a couple accessories are gonna be added to the car tints got already got my appointment date to get my PPF installed on the front end so I don't get any chips like I have on my 2019 I'm excited I guess that's it for now folks Keep you guys updated on to the progress I make with the truck. Give you my review of the truck for having it for some time. But I'm not expecting anything different, honestly, from my 2019. It's mostly cosmetic changes that they made on 2022 from the 2019. Although the transmission is now the nine speed instead of the six speed. So I'm excited for that. Keep you guys posted. Later.